hope everyone's doing well. We're starting off with 37 HP, so that's uh, quite a lot of HP to start off our uh, proceedings here. We have uh, the Red Ghost from Pac-Man over in Ferrant Burgundy's side. We have the uh, Tov the Puppy from Dragon Warrior 4 over on Apex's side. We start with Erdrick's token. We start with the Stones of Sunlight. Ouch. That's not something you want to see. I mean, you got two of the ingredients for uh, to win the game, but you want something else. So now you got to look everywhere to get all the really good stuff, but <clears throat> we'll see how it goes here. And here's our first monster. It's a magician. You're not going to do it on eight, eight strength. <laughs> we have a question from chat over in my other Nick. Uh, uh, so everything has DL2 breath over in zone zero. Well, that's a rather bold prediction. So, so far we have magicians and magi drakeys. So, and scorpions. So this is a great, this is a great zone zero so far. But there's the red slime. So we're going to get on the board here. Ding, ding, ding. Uh... Ooh, a uh, warlock. I don't think that's gonna fly. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, there we go. There. Uh, we have a Drakey go down on our Fry Burgundy side, and then a red slime. This will be for level two. In. Uh, just a moment here. Here we go. There's level two. And our statistics will be two power. Ten speed, twelve HP, seven magic. I think that might be enough to knock off a magician. It's gonna be it would be a long slog, but I, th I think it would be fine. <clears throat> we have a metal scorpion, and I believe I saw a stop spell from the metal scorpion, so uh, a little be a little something to look forward to, but. Not gonna be good enough right now. Fran electing to run away from the magician. Definitely can't blame him there. He's on low HP. Uh, and Drakey goes down over an Apex's side, and he'll go to level two. And our number. Well, we, well, we know what the numbers are. Uh, Fran's gonna give the magician a try. Magician no stop spell. So what else does the magician know? One wonders. All we know is that F spell is blocked, so... Both contestants on a strength HP build this evening. And hurt. Well, that's not the end of the world. You know, if you come in there with full HP, you're gonna be... Uh, I think you'll win that bout. I mean, it'll be a long slog, but you'll win the bout. Um, but uh, let's try again. I don't think a Magi Drake is going to work at level 2, but uh, probably just a couple more strength and you'll have it. Meanwhile, Apex is trying the Magician, and the Hurt hasn't come out yet. I think it's a 25% chance from what I'm seeing here. As Vron dismisses a Red Slime, and oh, there it goes, Magician gone over an Apex's side with 1 HP left. Zero strength, nine speed, eight HP, four magic, no spells. This is just a lovely start if you're a viewer. If you're a runner, the jury's out on that. <clears throat> oh, look at that, a slime hanging out over on uh, zone one to the uh, the intermediate zone to the right of Sherlock. A droll's also hanging out. So, so clearly this is just an exploration. He's found Sherlock. Excuse me, Ferran has also found Sherlock. And, uh... Death should not have taken Apex Corved. The penalty is half your money lost, 15 seconds in the penalty box, and those dreaded words from the king. Okay, so... Ferran's hanging out in the desert, trying to get a higher uh, encounter rate it is slightly higher than the mountains. They're both one in eight chances, but there's a three frame pause every time you go through a mountain. So that's what we're looking at here. Apex Corvette knocks out a red slime. Scorpion, not gonna cut, not gonna fly. 
And this will give uh, level 3 over to Fram Burgundy's side. And he's going to get the very bad news. I mean, the 9 response speed is not bad. I mean, you're up to 26. You got some defense now. But, yeah. Now, I wonder if Ron's going to tackle another magician. Uh, we'll see. I know I know one monster you won't be tackling. It's the Magi Drakey. They have hurt more. You're going to need significantly more strength. To knock that out as we say good evening to Shiniki the Lost. How you doing? Great match here uh, for Ron Burgundy versus Apex Corbett. Two top tier players here. And I apologize, I did uh, accidentally uh, had you muted there for the first few seconds there. So, uh, but you're but now you're back online. So, uh, welcome and. Uh, Right now we've got, uh, we have Magi Drakeys with Hurt more, so they're bad news. We have Magicians with Stop Spell, it uh, looks like 50%, and a 25% Hurt. Okay, so almost a vanilla Magician, except it's also got a tendency to stop spell. Uh, looks like we've already got two of the three key items that we need five minutes to do this match. Oh, I was wrong. 25% stop spell. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, the opening the opening treasury gave up uh, the stones and the token, which is uh, not really what you want to see early on, you know? You want to see something other than that, in a way. I mean, yes, you got two things down, but I don't know. Uh, we have another Magician go down, 4 power, 4 speed, 6 HP, 4 magic, and a spell of heal! I don't think you can take... Well, actually, you can. It, oh, That's gonna be a long slow... Oh, you're knocking him down for 2. What do I know? I've only won 2 of these tournaments, I have no idea. <laughs> Oh, okay. You can do. You can deal three damage to a scorpion. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and you got the heal spell. This is uh, it's sixteen points for Fram Burgundy. That's guaranteed. But I think that's pretty much your limit. Is those uh, scorpions? And uh, good news on Fram's side. He finds another apex. Uh, now wants to wander over to the southwest and runs into one of those dreaded Magi Drakeys. But there's the stop spell. Great play to s stop the Magi Drakey spell. Ooh. And Apex scores a Kaishin no Jigeki to tie the score for like three seconds. Ooh, Talon. Talon over on the Apex side. That's going to be Cole. We, get, we potentially have a free item here four steps south of that little spa. And it's, uh, that is a uh, fairy flute, which is the vanilla location. And if you're wondering if this game is randomized, the answer is yes, it is. It just happens to be the fairy flute happened to wind up at that location. Bamboo pole and close for Apex. That's going to add two attack and two defense. We see level five over in Fram Burgundy really eating up those scorpions. Two power, three speed, five HP, three magic, no spell. That's all right. I think he's probably okay hanging out here. Apex takes that long walk over to the item store, so he's going to make it worth it. He's going to pick up a couple of torches and a dragon scale for that two extra defense points. Now the scorpion is going down in chunks in between two and four uh, damage points. Raigai commenting 16 strength on level five with a tongue stuck out. Yeah, it's a <laughs> it's definitely a raspberries uh, uh, blowing raspberries right there, which probably means we'll get like 30 strength in the next level, right? I mean, I, I rolled this seed. Usually I roll some decent seeds, so, I mean... So, 
Having 16 strength to start. Ooh, another town. My goodness, Apex uh, definitely with the exploration lead finds Garenham. And what do we have here? We have a club. For those who like clubs. I mean, I personally like house music, but no, well, I, di I digress. Ferran now learns the hurt more bad news, elects to run instead of stop spell. And uh, looks like we have a little DL2 breath over on Apex's side, so I believe that's going to be a uh, penalty over on Apex's side. Second death, not a lot of deaths so far, so. Magician going down over on Fron's side. Third, uh, no. Is it 13? No. Um, what is it? 165. Oh, yeah, I've got plenty of time before we reach level 6. But I'll tell you what, Fron has double the experience of uh, Apex here. So uh, that's something to be noted. And what else is to be noted is that Fron got a Kaishin no Uchigeki. To maintain that double advantage, but Apex does have the exploration, does know of two towns. One to the left of Tanagel, one to the south of Tanagel. Apex once again stops spelling the Magi Drakey, and uh, it's pretty much curtains for that murder bat. By the way, we didn't see any murder bat uh, emoji over in chat. Okay, Ferran stops the magician spell, so no stop spell, no hurt, so he'll get plenty of free turns, and eventually that eight experience points. <laughs> so pretty much we're just knocking out magicians and magi drakeys and all the good stuff. So we go level 5 for Apex, so he'll get more bad news. Bad news upon bad news upon bad news. <laughs> Asriel is uh, saying in chat, this seed can't be as bad as the other night. And well, <laughs> who knows, we've had a lot of bad seeds. And Now keep in mind, you know, this is the 5th anniversary of the Dragon Warrior Randomizer Tournament and we recall all the time in the community about that three hour 20 minute monstrosity between NES Cardinale and Jacobus Wedge where we had to go to level 23 now <clears throat> and because just because we just couldn't get the strength now we haven't seen that since because of the death necklace rule where uh, you get 10 extra strength when you equip it for the loss of one quarter of your HP but yeah <laughs> Asriel's wondering if all four seats tonight are gonna be dumpster fires, and we don't know, but there's one thing I do know, it's that Apex Corvid got a Kaishin Uchigeki! Okay, Fron now stops spelling the Magi Drakey. Well done, and that's gonna be 12 points, and that will get him to level 6. Let's see if we can actually get some strength here. Now, to my credit, to my credit, we do have 63... 68 HP on the board for our contestants. So, I mean, at least give me that much. <laughs> Hurling a torch of the Scorpion to speed it up. Triple two and a magic. So, uh, once again, we still are lacking strength, folks. So, we might be able to take on an intermediate monster now, though. Maybe, maybe, um, oh, uh, sorry about that. I think Sneaky's, uh, I think Sneaky's back. How you doing? I do apologize. Had a little bit of technical difficulties here, unfortunately. Well, you haven't missed too much. I mean, we're now level six with just 18 strengths I, I tell you what I've rolled a good one so far <laughs> I 
<laughs> right guy uh, has pretty much uh, spelled it out exactly over in chat the race to 337 now apex has a the slightest advantage now I, I i'd say right now we've got a tie and the reason is we've uh apex has that bamboo pole in the clothes which isn't much but it's something Ooh, he might have been able to take on that skeleton with a bunch of heals uh, it, it's uh no, it's kind of iffy. He was only dealing five damage, although. That was... Keep in mind okay. that just because you could doesn't necessarily mean that you should, because if it's going to eat up all of your resources, it might be worth it to take on several smaller enemies. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, you were knocking out Magi Drakeys pretty quickly. All right, Vron kind of curious as to what's up north right now, but what's up north is a red slime. <laughs> Oof, long battle over an Apex's side. It looks like a pretty much a max HP Magi Drakey there. Yeah, but that does get him a step closer, and once you get the stop spell to land, they, they're pretty much harmless. Ooh, Drolls have DL2 breath and sleep, the full Wombo Combo. I figure Fron would enjoy that sound. <laughs> uh, maybe not. <laughs> so, so beware of the Droll Lord. The, the Droll Lord. Actually, I think we have Good. a uh, emoji for that somewhere, I think. Or is it just on our main channel? It might just be on our main channel. But uh, we do have one where it's where the Drolgan Lord is uh, one of the emoji. Yeah, and apparently jerkbirds are in play as well. Magi Wyverns have at least sleep. I mean, pretty much... Anyone, anyone that anything that has sleep is pretty much bad news. I mean, I, I mean, even at the best, you're looking at a time drain. Meanwhile, Shubinator over in chat do, uh, doing that uh, uh, Russian tune. Oh my goodness! Now that song's gonna be stuck in my head. Thanks, Shubes. Yeah, they'll be uh drol lo 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 ha I think I'm gonna cut this off by saying Kaishi no Chikaki for Apex. Wow, we're getting a lot of those excellent hits, let me tell you. Uh so Mm -hmm. So we've got Magi Drakeys with Hurtmore, we've got Drolls with the full Wombo combo, we've got Magi Wyverns with the sleep spell at least. Uh, this this is definitely turning into a painful seed. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, with Apex's little side sidebar there a little exploration where he found nothing uh Fran has built up about a 50 point advantage plus or minus yeah i mean long term that's still fairly minimal i mean the the advantage is apex has more exploration and he knows where not to go so that can also be useful you know, theoretically, Apex could go down to Garenham. He knows where that is. It's south of the castle. And he could pick up a club and get two more attack power. I don't know. Why not? I mean, if there's a copper sword on offer, he's got copper sword money. I don't think I saw that in Cor Cole nor Garenham. So... <clears throat> The only thing I do see is 20 points until level 7. And we'll see if we uh, can finally get out of this zone. <laughs> I 
Yeah, unfortunately, with the low strength and, I mean, good hit points, but low strength and low defense is they're they're really kind of stuck with these lower level enemies until they can find something to break out, either big hit or big strength gains or, you know, something like a hurt more. Something to, to break out of this mold, because right now they're just kind of stuck in this rut and they really can't get out of it very easily. I mean, shoot, even Hurt would be nice at this point. Ooh. If Ron's a great player, after defeating this magician, he'll be one experience point short. Another excellent move over on Apex's side, and uh, unfortunately that was on a red slime, so... Nah. Yeah, Ferran has the same kind of idea that I would probably have given this kind of seed. When in doubt, grind it out! <laughs> Five power, seven speed, not points, one magic, no spell, so... A little bit of progress? Uh, let's see. Where's uh, Ron going? I, empty eye is 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 somewhere, a, and just smiled for no apparent reason. <laughs> well, at least the Magi Drakeys are gonna go down a bit quicker now. Well, except for the fact that they're dodging. And we, uh, one step later, we'll deal with the slime. <laughs> MTI feels the disturbance in the universe from bad levels up, says Azrael. <laughs> I don't know. Let's, you want to try your hand as Metal Scorpion? No. How about a ghost? How about a ghost? We ain't afraid of no ghost. Uh, well, Ferran was after that stop spell went down, because he was wondering... What else did that ghost have? Yeah. Well, down goes another Magi Drakey. Uh, down goes a Drakey. There's level 7 for Apex. And he'll get the slightest of good news. Is. Uh, how about Droll Magi there for No? Well, this Droll Magi. Well, now, the good thing oh, is... Oh, that's that... just a Droll. That's not a Droll Magi. And he's about to get some bad news. Yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, and I, th I think Apex knew about that Droll. But, uh, no matter. Penalty box for the fourth time today. So... But considering all this grinding that's been happening... You know, we've done 23 minutes of grinding and we've only had six penalties. So, you know, that's not too bad. Considering the uh, lethality of these enemies in general, no, that's not bad at all. Ooh. I mean, they do have a, a heal spell, so there is that, but this Star Wyvern trying to catch Apex manages to get away from it. And Star and Wyvern takes out Ferran, sends him back home. Yeah, I think that was uh, pretty much intentional at this point. So, I think Ferran's going to have to find, uh, probably going to go a little bit more aggressive now. I, I have a feeling he might do some exploration. And if he does, he'll find Cole and he'll find Garenham. We'll see. Meanwhile, Apex has drifted over to the right to try to find something, anything. But he found a Warlock, which, you know, that's not a bad thing at this point. Yeah, I mean... Oh, Varan finds a town to the northeast of Tanagel, and it's his favorite town in the whole wide world, Breconary. It is the home of the Six Ooh. Gold Inn. Oh, hey, there's Broadsword and Chainmail. Picks up the, ch the Copper Sword real quick. 
and clothes. So he's got copper sword and clothes. That's really useful. That's 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 good. You know what's not useful though? Rogue scorpions with dragon lord two breath. Apex is back to the castle. Ouch. <laughs> so we've got murder bats. We've got jerk birds. We've got drogon lords, and then we've got just bad scorpions. Well, now Ferran's got a little bit more oomph. He's probably going to tackle on that... He's going to tackle that poltergeist now. Here we go. Yeah, dealing 10 damage, that poltergeist is going to go down very quickly, and I bet he's going to be hanging out with skeletons here in a minute. But baby breath might give him a, the slightest amount of pause. Uh, he's got enough hit points to be able to, to to muscle through a baby breath or two. Not can't quite yet get the droll magi, but should be skeletons all day long. Oh yeah, ten damage on that skeleton, you bet. Yeah, but uh Ferran probably also saw that broadsword. If he can get some if he can find a maybe a, a key somewhere get get some chests get some gold uh, that broadsword would be clutch right now mm -hmm. uh, yeah now you can see Ferran's probably going to start uh, start gaining a lead here a little bit of a lead it'll go back and forth for a small period of time but you know if he keeps hanging out here he's gonna Definitely uh, get a little bit of an experience advantage here. And uh, I, I find it amusing that Ferran Burgundy has a character's name of F. Yeah, for Ferran. So it's gonna be it's gonna be whenever it comes up F in chat. <laughs> Speaking of F in chat, there's the droll with the DL two breath. Hmm. Well, our contestants are uh, continuing to grind to level 8. Um, so, uh, I don't know. Maybe I should take a look at the bracket here. I mean, we've got a, still got a lot of uh, good matchups coming up, I'll tell you. But, uh, haven't uh not not a lot of notable upsets yet in the uh losers bracket or the uh, uh the the upper, actually we do have a we do have a little bit of a notable upset but uh just in the interest of those watching on the youtube we'll just uh keep it to ourselves yeah there has actually been quite a few upsets in these races um I, again, I don't want to spoil anything. Definitely want to check out some of these races on the VODs. They did they did not turn out the way people thought they would. I don't think anybody's brackets lasted the second round. <laughs> My bracket didn't even last the first round. I had to delete it when I forgot to, to put in the uh, winner of the loser's final or loser's bracket or something like that. So I was just like, delete it. <laughs> yeah. 54 points to level 8. I think Ferran would have rather seen two warlocks, but uh, skeleton is fine. High spirits mentioning in chat. It's the bonus bracket because by by the end of the tournament, only one person at most won't be a loser. <laughs> yeah, speaking of high spirits, he is our tracker this evening, and uh, he also will be passing out donuts to uh, keep all of us uh, hostage. Donuts. And right now I have a feeling Ferran's probably saying a little Q-bird and, and saying, get out of here, these darn slimes. Three consecutive slimes, my goodness. 
There's the skeleton. <laughs> right guy. Hi guys, uh, asking are the donuts made with only the best steel two breath? Uh, I, I can't answer that question, but I, what I can say is 10 power, zero speed, zero magic, three HP. I would say empty. I mostly love that. Yeah, but I bet Ferran really liked that plus 10 strength. He's now got a substantial attack power gain over Apex right now. With the Copper Sword and that level 8, he's about 20 attack points ahead. He's now able to start taking on some of these uh, Zone 2 enemies. Yeah. Um, however, uh, uh, um, oh, Shoot. There we go. Well, uh, Apex just got level 8, so yeah. that almost that that kind of level of playing field, but that copper sword is still 10 attack power. Ooh. Uh he was exploring that wolf lord, but that wasn't going to fly, but he does find that town and that's going to be a 180 gold piece copper sword coming your way. But first, he will be stopping in at the cheapest inn in the game, the Six Gold Inn. We'll leave a torch out for you. <laughs> Which is amazing, because the torch is eight gold. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Unlucky or in front side. Uh, Droll picks, off, picks him off. And then burns him to a crisp. 700 degrees for 10 minutes. Yep, and with that, Apex Corvid has just balanced the playing field. It is also level 8 with a copper sword. They've got the exact same gear. They're still pretty much neck and neck. So I noticed that Apex picked up a bottle of fairy water. That deals the same amount of damage as the Hurt spell. 9 to 16. I don't know if that's going to help him too much at this time uh, it, because he's got enough AP at this point, but it might help later on. Um, he also picked up chainmail while he was shopping, got rid of his clothes, picked up some chainmail. That's going to also help a lot with his physical defense, which yeah. is going to be useful. I think right now the fairy water is just being kept in his back pocket as kind of an emergency measure. He also picked up a torch. He could be going further afield and seeing if he can't t find something to dive. You know, grave, mountain cave, something with a lot of chests in it. Looks like Ferran Burgundy has found the swamp cave. He also found a magi wyvern. And now he's got the knowledge that they have sleep. So, uh, triple run fail, no, quad run run fail from a wyvern. Wow, that's about a 1 in 30? That's, uh, that's, yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, well, <laughs> RNG. <laughs> Fran picks up another excellent move and knocks out a scorpion. Uh, uh, high spirits, uh, our tracker uh, said that Ferran actually found the Grave of Garenham, which is three treasure boxes, which is probably why he's bolting right back toward that cave. Yeah, uh, with, with those three treasure chests on the first floor as an easy dip to get to, it makes perfect sense to try and get back to them and then get the leap back out of there uh, he's not going to be able to dive to the bottom of great which is a problem and if he forgets that he didn't check those two chests that could bite him later on if if the harp is actually in its vanilla location except we won't find out what those three boxes are because ron has nailed a one in eight triple run fail to the stone man he's a stone man <laughs> yeah, A for run. You got rocked. 
Well, uh, he looks like he's gonna knock out some more skeletons, and by the end of that, uh, maybe he'll be hanging out with Hans and Flans, and uh, Level 9 will pump him up. One can certainly hope so. Um, yeah, uh, and he can take on these skeletons now. Earlier he was having troubles with them, but with these stats... Oh, there's an excellent blow from Apex Corvid. I tell you what, uh, these uh, excellent moves are flying like, you know, they're, they're just tons of excellent moves right now. So. Yep. Yeah, didn't want any part of that axe knight. I don't blame him. At this point, he's really not equipped to take care of one. Yeah, no. Gonna need, well, really gonna need heal more. Or he hurt more. Well, yeah, hurt more. Hurt more would do it, of course, but... Uh, yeah, heal more could do it. Plus about twenty more strength. That would that would be fine as well. Oh, you're gonna yeah, try to roll Yeah, but Apex Magi? Corvid is closing this experience gap pretty quickly, taking on some of these bigger enemies. Uh, the, he's he's starting to close that. It's less than a hundred now. And surround sound skeletons. <laughs> skiller, 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 skiller. Oh no, wait, that's just an echo. <laughs> Okay, so we're just uh, continuing to uh, run, continue to grind. Apex uh, passing Gearingham, knocking that segment of the map off the list. Oh, 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 oh! Seed validated. Aww. One of these days, sneaky. One of these days. Yeah, for those of you who don't understand that one, that's a that's a in joke in the community, kind of a meme. Uh, there's a there's a there's a runner named Sparkover who, uh, when they see a a single tile after a bridge, they immediately check it out just in case it happens to be the one spot that the overland coordinates are. And Ferran, for the second time this seed, is one point short of a level. And Apex, for the first time this seed, has run into an armored knight, which is very hard to run away from. Yeah, that, that, I mean, Axe Knight doesn't need to cast Hurt more. He simply casts Axe to the face. <laughs> now Ferran has 999 experience. Oh, there we go. 18 power, finally. 2 HP, 6 magic, and a and a speed, why not? And repel. Before I mean, not the worst at this point. You're really not wanting to run into those smaller enemies anymore, and some of them are kind of dangerous. So uh, it makes sense to kind of throw up that repel just to make sure you're, you're fighting appropriate level enemies. Wolves have heal, and uh, that totally surprised Apex, so he had to burn a stop spell there. Now, Ferran can do a little bit of ex exploration now. With 61 attack power, you can knock out those wolf lords. You can knock out those troll magic, especially uh, with this high HP. You are looking a little bit of an HP race, but... Uh, though that's going to help with that chain mail. Yeah, if we're on picking up that chain mail here at this uh, shop in Breconary, he's also going to take a nap right while he can, since it's the cheapest inn in the game. And he's probably going to start wandering out. Either he's going to go back to Garen's grave for those three chests, it was kind of, you know, low-hanging fruit, or he's going to go exploring further afield and seeing what else he can find. It looks like he's going to opt for the second. He's going to be wandering around. Hey, there we go. Run, runs away from a stone man. So he's gonna wander up north of Garenham. Or I'm sorry, um, um, whatever that town, Breconary. That's what it's called. <laughs> and uh, we'll see if there's uh, 
anything else interesting here, but uh, right now it's pretty much not. Go for it! Go for it! Go for it! Go for the wyvern! There we go! Yes! I think I think you can get him. You think you can win this HP race? It's definitely an HP race, but yeah, I think that's a win right there. Boom! Sixty-four points. Well played. Yeah, that's that's what this attack power of 61 is giving for Ron right now. It's the ability to take on these wyverns, uh, wolf lords. The, these mid-tier enemies now are suddenly starting to become viable for him. Um, now, Metal Scorpion in one shot is an easy 30 experience pickup. You get enough of those to uh, lined up together, and you're doing pretty good. My goodness, what is with all these excellent moves? I love the play, though, from Apex. Going, even though he had six, 18 less power, I still like that play. Going for that Wolf Lord, and it pays off with level 9. Huh. Ferran running into an Axe Knight, unable to get away. Oh. Axe Knights have DL2 breath. Wow. Hello. Ow. Hello. Hello. Hey yo, yeah, all of a sudden, seeing an axe side on a trap tile, a lot less attractive grind in the mid to late game. Yeah, you're gonna need both hurt more and heal more. I mean, it, you gotta be very close to a spike tile, or, you know, very close to an end, excuse me, very close to an end in order to uh, try that now. Yeah, that, that, uh, Actually, legitimately valuable information for Ferran right there because, um, you know, if you ran into something like Hawk's Tile or Swamp Tile, we've seen, you know, something like that. Uh, if that had an Axe Knight, normally Axe Knights are awesome. You want to hit those Axe Knights as hard as you can, but uh, with a DL2 breath, maybe not so much. Well, I tell you what, Ferran just knocked out a Wraith Knight and won that DPS race. I love it. I I love these seats where you have to engage in these DPS races where you have to calculate can I actually defeat this monster even though he's hitting me pretty hard so heal is useless so uh, yep and with about a 250 point lead in experience now Ferran is definitely starting to pull ahead and now he's going to try and dive grave again hopefully he'll have a better time of it now yeah, I mean, pretty much you need a hero run. If you get a hero run it's like he did just there, you're going to win a cursed belt. You're going to win some money, and you're going to win some more money. So, yeah, ooh, that's, that's enough for No, broad that's sword. broadsword money. That's 1,500. That's broadsword money. He wants to get out of there alive. Unfortunately, this Magi Wyvern ambushes him, hits him, manages to get away. He's going to be healing because he wants to get back out of here alive with that 1500 so he can get that broadsword and Breconary that we saw another magic wyvern manages to get away from that he's just trying to get back to the exit as fast as he can and a blue dragon oh, oh my with, with hurt, hurt more, more. Oh. oh well Healing up a bit, just in case he gets another bad ambush like that. Um, but Blue Dragon's another potential enemy to encounter on those spike tiles, and with that hurt more, much less attractive. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, Apex Corvette with another critical hit, taking down a Wyvern. So I Yeah, I think Ferran got a little lost here. He's a little turned around, trying to find his way home. Um... Yeah, I don't think it's and happening. No at this torch. Point. No, no torch. He's out. Oh no, he's not out yet. And there's Blue Dragon with the back attack and Hurt More blocked again. There's another Hurt More. That's either a fifty or seventy-five percent chance. Well, at least he doesn't have to worry about getting lost anymore. But he no longer has the uh, broadsword money. No. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's not very easy to walk out of the grave. I mean, great. It's definitely a valiant attempt, but. Not uh, quite enough there, but um, so he'll move on to uh, better places here as 
Apex uh, continues to grind, was knocked out some wyverns there, and gonna knock out this troll magic, gonna even the score, and I mean he'll probably have to find the grave at some point, and then he'll probably get some bad news, but yeah, yeah, still and very good while race here. Run, yeah, while Ferran was trying to run from those enemies, Apex has been taking out everything that shows up to him and has really closed his experience gap. They are less than a hundred experience points away. Just like that, a, a, a fairly decent experience lead has vanished. And Ferran's back into the penalty box, courtesy of an armored knight. And is back down to 400 gold and is now quite a ways away from that broadsword. Yeah, well, at least it's... I think it might be more important to try to fight a key at this point. And yeah, finding pretty, keys yeah. could be really, really critical, especially if we've got a gold chest there in um, in the in the castle. We know where Garen's grave is. We could set up a gold grind. That might be really useful. All right. Well, we uh, are now virtually tied. Uh, well, Apex, I would say, might even have a slight lead, but Veron has now found coal. And we'll be getting the news that uh, the fairy flute is found four steps south of the bath in coal. Uh, gee, who rolled this? <laughs> um, Wasn't this supposed anything. to be randomized? Well, the, to answer that question, yes, it is. Now, now, this is interesting, though. There is a large shield. I didn't notice this in coal. So that is an alternative he could go for for 10 extra defense points. Yeah, but that's 800 gold. He had that before that armored knight cut it in half. Asriel, you can't blame Fred for this. I mean, I know he's in the tournament, but you can't blame Fred here. It's not his fault. Not this time. <laughs> Ah, so where is you know, this? I could make an obscure 90s movie reference here, but I don't think there's anyone in the crowd yet old enough to remember it. Mm. <laughs> and uh, Stone Man is probably going to have to... The, yep, Ferran's going to fold right there. Yeah, Ferran just got walled. Now, was it a walnut or was it a tall nut? Brains. Do 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 do. <laughs> All right, twenty-three points away from level ten over on Apex's side. And uh, for I'm gonna try to catch up a smidge. Where is Apex going to go? Going to go to the end. Wants to uh, preserve that money. Now, he's in line for that large shield that we talked about just a moment ago. Will he go for that or will he continue to save up? We have... Um, yeah, once again, we're still dealing with intermediate monsters, and the uh, experience lead is now only 50 points. Uh, Star Wyvern is not gonna fly here. Uh, well, excuse me, the Star Wyvern does fly, but, you know, the, the fight isn't gonna fly. You're not gonna win that one. Yeah, especially not getting blocked like that repeatedly. Droll cast sleep, but has been blocked. That's at least useful. Ferran is now trying to attack this droll because he's tried to run and it didn't work. Manages to take it out before it could breathe on him, thankfully. Yeah, that was a bit of a bold move, but uh, definitely paid off there. And Apex knocks out a slime. Ferran does not do the same. Okay, this is going to be level 10 for both contestants, really. Who's going to get there first? Ferran does by about three seconds. Two power, seven speed, one HP, ten magic, and the spell of 
Radiant? Well, Ron, do you want to go back to the grave and try again? I mean, you could do a ghetto grind there pretty easily now that you've got Radiant, so you're not going to get lost on the way back. You go do that twice, you've got Broadsword money right there. Oh, here we go. Oh, I love it. DPS race right now against the Wraith Knight. And I think Apex is going to win this going away. Love it. You might, and I and I epically say might, be able to defeat a uh, knight. A regular knight, but uh, I doubt it. There's the grave for Apex. He's got Radiant now. He's also got a blue dragon waiting for him. And he finds out about the hurt more on the blue dragons, but does manage to run away. Hey, it's a golem. I'm gonna run, not use the fairy flute, and lose the uh, nine seconds. Okay. Uh, as a matter of fact, Apex used a torch and will now get that cursed belt and a minimum of $1,000. There's that broadsword money. Let's see if uh, he'll be able to get away and go back to Breconary here. And did I just see Hurtmore over on the knight side? Wow, Axe Knights as well in this level. I tell you what, when we, when we get to the later levels, this is going to be a great grind spot. Yeah, except the part with the Axe Knights have a chance of breathing on you. I mean, right now they don't need to. They're just doing that much damage, but... That's gotta be a... Because when Ferran ran into it, it was pretty much right off the bat, but Apex, it took several rounds to hit him. That may be a 50% or even a 25% breath. Apex does not realize that the Axe Knight's got Dragon Lord Breath in his back pocket. You know, it's kind of like having Big Slick, Ace, of, Ace and King, right? Isn't that what it is? Ace, King, Offsuit? Something like that? Okay, what else? is Fran gonna find. It looks like we're in a new section of the map. He's gonna find an Axe Knight. That's what he's gonna find. He, to he wants no part of that Axe Knight because he knows it's got some spicy jalapeno breath. <laughs> you know, I just had some guacamole. Oh, oh, town, town, town. It's from older. Time to buy some keys. Here we go. All right. This could really break things open for Ferran. We have oh, another town Apex over on Apex's side. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, I saw another town over in Apex's side. Cantlin. Well, that could give you coordinates. Broadsword, flame sword. Was that full plate down there as well? Yeah, I believe it was full plate. There is some really good high-end gear here for Apex, if he can get the money. However, Ferran spending two keys to get an herb. An herb. Alright, uh, over here... There's a large the shield. shield. Uh, declines the large shield here. Interesting. Although, although I, that, yeah, definitely can be understandable. He's hoping to get up to 1,500 real quick. I, I don't know. Offered a large shield, I would take that right now if I were Apex. I'll be honest, because mm. I haven't seen a silver shield yet. That would at least be one item off the list of things to get. Uh, I believe we have just found Hawksness. Yes, we have. We've also found a cave, and that cave is... Uh... Tablet? Yeah, it looks like Tablet Cave. 
Oh, dude, you don't want to be bonking around Tablet Cave. Well, not only that, he's got Radiant, so a little bit okay, curious. Okay, he does about have Radiant. It. Yeah, a little curious by that. We see our first metal slime over in Apex's side, which promptly ran away. Yeah, uh, for those of you not aware, the problem with Tablet Cave is there are no monsters, which you wouldn't think is a problem. It's a, it's a safe place to go. Except that means if you get lost in the dark down there and you don't have something like that Radiant spell that Veron has, you get lost, uh, that's a reset. And that's pretty much GG right there. And there's a Death Necklace that in the uh, Tablet Cave. That's one more key item to just kind of check off the list of things that I have found. Not a particularly useful piece right now, but it's one less thing that could potentially be on a search spot. Yeah, so that death necklace uh, actually could come into play here. We already have 76 hit points on level 10. If you reach 130, or no, 129 actually, you can equip that death necklace, lose 25% of your HP and uh, but you gain 10 strength or 10 attack power and uh, that could be the difference between a dead dragon lord and a and a burnt crisp hero yeah but I mean late game absolutely could be useful to these people especially with how these uh, stats are rolling out but for right now I would have much rather had seen a piece of Eredric's gear either the sword or the armor or the harp would have been far more immediately useful. Yeah, the harp is uh, one of three things you have to find uh, in order to uh, uh, advance in the game. You have to find three items, the, uh, the Stones of Sunlight, Eirdrick's Token, and the Silver Harp. You turn the Silver Harp, turns into the Staff of Rain, then you turn those three items into the Grump, and he will give you the Rainbow Drop, and then you drop off that drop in the at the entrance of Sherlock Castle, then you go all the way down to the bottom of Sherlock to beat the dreaded Dragon Lord. First one to do this, do that, wins the race. One trillion dollars and the right to play the loser of Diabetes the Second and Zarnax, which is happening on Randomania right now. Yeah, they just started not too long ago as well. Yeah, they're yeah. I think they're like ninety minutes in their seat as long as uh, uh, <laughs> as Shield and Chad said, "Hey, I didn't get one trillion dollars." <laughs> well, you know, Math Girl did roll that seed, so I didn't tell you when did we pay you the one trillion dollars. <laughs> Okay, Drew. one million dollars. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Drew and Lord over on Apex's side, and I believe it is damage broken. I mean, you know, it's it's a quick fifty-eight experience points. It's it's respectable. Oh, yay! A slime. Okay, so... Three caves on the screen at once on Apexes. There is a Jerk Cave, or Grump Cave, as, as was mentioned. That's where you get the Rainbow Drop once you have all of your items. And That's and... Freebie Cave. Okay, that works. And uh, it just, uh, like the song goes, it's just the wind beneath your wings. Uh, you thought I was going to make a Red Bull joke, didn't you? Yeah. I miss, totally miss the Tanagel treasury. So, uh, so Ferran got something, 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 and something. That is, uh... Yeah, the guaranteed. Silver Harp was there. Uh, so he now has all three key items. Uh, was there a gold grind? I'm not sure if that's going to be relevant this seed. I haven't seen any Silver Shields. Yeah, it was, uh, according to Chad, it was Herb, Key, and Wings. No gold. Yeah. 
Okay, couldn't run away from the golem the first time, wants the guaranteed run the second time as uh, we have a one apex. very crispy Apex Corvid. Apex Corvid finding out that yeah, X Knights uh X Knights had the extra extra spicy jalapeno. <laughs> ah. I'm out of guacamole. I'm sad. All right, so I believe Ferran has found the Swamp Cave. I believe that to be the case. Swamp North, in fact. So Swamp North backs uh -oh. into Tantigal. If Swamp South backs into the back of Garenham, we could have another opportunity here to uh, to to get a gold grind going. Except we won't find out right now because the Speed Police has pulled Ferran over for, you guessed it, speeding. Yeah, the fun police, or the Red Durgan. Why? Because when they pull you over, the fun is done. <laughs> However, he's just right here anyway. He can just come right back and iterate pretty quickly. Yeah, and there was one interesting tidbit. The Red Dragons, they have hurt more, which stings, but they also had stop spell, which absolutely doesn't. Yeah, uh, if you could nope. land a stop spell, I mean, you really pull their teeth at that point. Yeah, I don't think you've got enough to, I don't think you've got enough damage for that, uh, red dragon, but my goodness, that is quite the zone over, uh, there. Red dragons and armored knights, and you're gonna have to deal with that on the first floor of the mountain cave. Meanwhile, another Kaishin over on Apex's side. Just 125 points away, and a Kaishin over front. I quit. <laughs> I'm never running this thing again. <laughs> Everybody's getting All Kaishin. the crits. <laughs> well, I mean, what the heck? Ooh, Poltergeist have heal more, we just discover. Well, that's obnoxious. Baby breath and heal more. Well, there's worse, obviously. There are. All right, well, let's see what's on the other side. What's on the other continent here. It's apparently an axe knight, uh, so he'll probably want to quickly get through there. But now he's going to find the mountain cave. He'll also find a droll magi. And oh, droll magi's with heals. Uh, that's the first time we've seen that. And I think Ferran realizing that is just going to continue the onslaught. Down, down goes droll magi there. Okay, here comes level eleven over an apex's side as Ferran finds the mountain cave. Zero strength, nine speed, and not much else except hurt more. There's. The big boom hurt more. Now, now we're talking. We have picked herb. up one herb. Yeah, but we got four more chests in here. Meanwhile, Ferran takes the stairs. No Ferran is yet. still looking for trading cave too. It's, uh, dragon scale. Okay, he's already got one though. Yeah, that isn't gonna fly. Okay, what do we have? Money! And a fairy water, so. Not real. Not that much right now. Another Kaishin over on Apex's side. Wow! Oh yeah, the second floor of Mountain Cave is rough as well. Did, uh, did, did somebody pick up the fighter class here? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I like the idea of throwing down a Stosfell, but it's not going to work out. With three hit points, manages to get away.
All right, so hopefully he'll be able to hero run over the way to the next box. Oh, Blue Dragon with the pick off. Oy. I don't think we'll be hearing any Rustbury impersonations today. Yeah, the Blue Dragons with the with the uh, hurt more. Yeah, not exactly something you want to play around with. Yeah, more gold at the end of uh, the cave. At least now Ferron knows that there's nothing of value down here. Yeah, so let's see. We've had how many curse spells have we found so far? One, two. Uh, we found one in grave. I don't know if there were any others before then. Yeah, I don't think so. So we don't quite know if Hoxus is going to have something. But what we do know is that Ferran Burgundy is going to warp back to the castle. Which is actually probably what he was hoping for anyway. Well, he is going to gold grind some chain mail, which I believe are herbs, so he doesn't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, yeah, the, this this gold grind thing. Um, back in the day, of course, they didn't have a lot of memory on their RAM chips. Uh, you only had room for one bit of data for how many chests have been opened. So you open more than eight chests without hitting the overworld that resets that figure and it forgets that you opened up chests. So you can just keep opening them. Unfortunately, it also kind of confuses it into not knowing exactly what item you picked up. And so you can see some um, interesting item names displayed. <laughs> No, high uh, Apex right on his tail though has also yeah. gotten in a mountain cave will be getting the bad news that there's really nothing of interest down here yeah uh, high spirits in chat a few minutes ago uh, uh, noticed the uh, that this is a one continent uh, seed here and uh, that was verified because Apex did not go through the swamp cave in order to reach the mountain cave so there you go Yeah, I mean, there's some gold down here, but at this point, the runners really aren't looking for gold. They want things that money can't buy. Well, money can't buy a Wraith Knight, but uh, a Copper Sword could defeat a Wraith Knight for 72 experience. Oh, very unlucky there. Although I understood why he attacked there. I mean, he doesn't have heal more, so unfortunately, uh, 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 Fran will have to go back to the beginning. And. Okay. Apex defeating the werewolf after a hurt more in two attacks there, so. Scoring the 95 points. Fran needs to get to level 11 pretty soon, I think. Yeah, when Ferran hits level 11 and gets that Hurt More spell, um, that might be a, a uh, an uh-oh moment. Yeah. That, that may be a oh my. I've been doing all of this wandering around instead of grinding, and here's Hurt More. How yeah. far behind am I? Well, he's uh, found uh, Cantlin now, so we'll see what he's up to. What will he do? He will probably check out the coordinates, I would think. Yes, he will. Now remember, Apex, when he came in, did not have keys, could not check these coordinates. So this is this is uh, something Ferran is doing here. And I hope Apex remembers that he needs to go back and check these coordinates at some point. Let's see what we get. 19 south, 42 to the west. That is countable. It won't be easy, but it's countable. For some people. I mean, for you, easily countable. For me, well, they don't call me sneaky. They're lost for nothing. <laughs> I think Ferran can count this. I'm fairly certain Ferran can count this, and Apex could too. Yeah, yeah. he's already counting. 
Yeah. Definitely the way to go here is just uh, go ahead and count. And he's already made quite a bit of progress here. Hasn't run into any monsters. Well, yeah, I just jinxed him. Jinx! He's just gonna drop a repel spell here to see what he doesn't have to fight. Continue to count a little bit more, a little bit at a time. I think he's about... I think he's got the south. I think he needs a little bit more to the west, maybe like 20 steps or so. And I think he's very close now. Uh, maybe about five more steps. There we go. What has he got? Erdrick's armor. Bam! Bam! There is the Erdrick's armor. The most powerful armor in the game. Not only does it have the highest defense value of any armor in the game, it makes you immune to stop spell. It reduces the damage from the dragon's breath, from the hurt and hurt moors, and you heal one hit point per step. That is a huge pickup for Ferran Burgundy. But a very notable level 12 by Apex, 14 agility, 21 HP. So I think it was five magic and one strength. Uh, I mean, you, you need some more strength, but you, man, you can't discount the, uh, you can't discount that nice boost there. Fran really, really needs to get to level 11. Yeah, here's the other problem. Apex Corvid is now level 12. He's actually got a fairly substantial, almost a thousand point experience point leap. That's, that's problem. And Apex Corvid now has found Garen's grave and is probably going to dive the whole grave because he's still looking for that harp. Well, there's one problem. He doesn't have any keys. Oh, that's right. He didn't find Remuldar, did he? No. Fifty points. Oh away. no! Wait, no. He's in Mountain Cave. My apologies. Oh yeah, Mountain Cave. All right, twenty-four points away to hurt more for Ferrari. Oh, that's he what he's really doing. Needs... Remember all all of these Axe Knights and Magic Wyverns and Star Wyverns down here potentially one shot territory with these hurt moors this is where he's grinding this is where he's getting some big experience point gains okay there's the hurt more for Ferran. now he needs to hurry it up now he knows he needs to hurry up on that exploration he really needs to find garenham we don't know those three boxes in garenham yet now while we uh while we do that exploration, we'll quickly talk about what Erdrick's armor is. 28 defense points. It's a lot. It also gives you immunity to barrier tiles and uh, swamp tiles. It also gives you immunity to stop spell. You have hurt more reduction. You have dragon lord breath reduction uh, by about a third. So those dragon lord two breaths, they still hurt, but only f in the 40s. Yep, and with the armor, it is a maximum 48 point. Yeah. And hey, you you have a chance to get those red dragons. Here we go. Grave of Garenham for, for on Burgundy now. And he does have keys, so he can dive the whole thing. The whole thing. He's looking thing. for the sword. Well, can you blame him? No, I'd be doing the same thing myself, because I don't want to lose something at the bottom of the grave that might be there that might be useful. It's a pain, it's a long dive, but I, you know, it's there. You might as well dive it. If nothing else, it checks off the tick boxes for those two chests. But meanwhile, Apex still going on a quite an aggressive grind here, so... Now, 900, oh no, I'm sorry, 1,001 experience points ahead. Yeah, now that Ferran is picking up some of these, uh, some of these fights here, it started leveling out, but a 1,000 experience point lead is actually pretty substantial right now. 
Now, do you know you may have noticed that for Ron Burgundy sprinkled fairy water over his body. Now, normally in a cave in the vanilla version, that means absolutely squat. But in the randomizer, we have programs a flag where you can repel in dungeons and that is the flag we have turned on. So right now, Ferran is only running into those Axe Knights, so hopefully he'll run into uh, not a lot more on his way to the last item. Chest 4 was a magic key, so it, he got refunded the key for entering. And 5th chest is coming up here in just a second, and that's gonna be a torch. <laughs> Well, at least now he knows. And knowing is half the battle. The more you know, NBC. I don't know. Wait a minute. Shouldn't be advertising. <laughs> Hurt more <laughs> for, for Ron. There's one, another 130. Uh, one more axe died, as a matter of fact. And Ferran will be level 12. We see Apex did find keys. I'm, I guess he went... I, I don't know if he went to Remolder or what have you, but... Gonna go through the treasury and be disappointed here. At least he got his magic key back. And there's the harp. Yep. Now I believe that Apex knows. Does Apex know where the silver harp conversion guy is? Mm, actually, I don't believe so. I notice Apex hasn't gone into the back of the castle. Yeah, well, it turns out he doesn't need to because he's got to find Garenham. I think, I think Turnin Cave has to be in the back of Garenham. I don't think there's anywhere else it can be anymore. Precisely. You are not going to be beating an Armor Knight Apex. You only have three magic, but... You can't hurt more of that Armored Knight twice, and if you do, that's 172 experience. But here comes that Garenham now, and as a matter of fact, Garenham might also have Erdrick's sword. For Ron Burgundy has not found Garenham yet. So if Ron has the armor, which is something, don't get me wrong, but right now I think Apex, you know, with the experience point lead and with this uh, ability now to turn in for the harp, he's seen Jerk Cave. It was over by the trio of caves. And uh, he's got his laundry list done, so he's basically in grind and go mode once he gets his turn in done, plus has these three chests. Wow. Magic I know key? That, there's your refunded key again. Torch? Meh. And some bucks. So, um, are, are we going to see this sword in Charlock then? Yeah, I believe we are out of boxes. So, uh, it is time to place your guess. Where is Erdrick's sword in uh, Charlock Castle? Place your guesses. Well, Ferran gets out of the grave of Garenham and has broadsword money. Well, keep in mind, uh, it could still be in Hawksness under the trap tile. Well then, uh, we have to we have to give that a location name, I suppose. Friend's gonna get the bad news of the wings in the bonus cave. Oh, uh oh, there's the sleep. Oh, do rogue scorpions have the full wombo combo? Uh, yeah, it appears that way. He really needs to use some wings or something if he wants a broad sword anyway. I don't think he recalls that. I think right now he's just trying to find, like, say, Garenham, which I don't blame him for, but... Big oof. Yeah. Okay, now Apex has enough magic to knock out this armored knight. 
There it is. Okay. Goes back into Cantlin. Uh, gonna spend the 100 quid to refill. Let's see what Apex is up to. Running from golems. I think there's a broadsword in a second shop here. Or in the first shop, I think. Because it was broadsword and flame sword. Yeah, that's what it was. You're right. And I think that. Ferran forgot about that because he just left without making a purchase. Because he could have picked up a broadsword right there. No hurt more for that Aunt Wraith Knight. It saves him five magic points, but it costs him uh, a few seconds here, so... Meanwhile, Apex is heading towards, uh, looks like Garen's Grave. Mm, Garen's Grave or the Grump or Cantlin? He may be, he may be going for the Grump because there's Cantlin right there. Grump is just south of him. Ooh. Now, he also just has a Copper Sword, but he's got Broadsword money. He could pick up a broadsword right here oh oh he's back in swamp south is he gonna check out the boss tile or is he just gonna go back up to Tanagel? well since he cast a radiant i'm assuming he's gonna check the trap tile just to see what it is meanwhile apex does pick up his broadsword here in cantlin and that is a blocked red dragon spell wise uh, gonna go for it. only dealing eight damage, but oof, is that like four to eight damage or something like that? Yeah, he's yeah, understandably passing. Let's check the spike tile, and it is a golem. That's not what he needs. Yeah, no. Now, if he had heal more, then it becomes more of a uh, reasonable fight, but not right now. At least he has that information now. Mm hmm. All right, now Apex is going to get the coronets. They are not terribly challenging. 19 south, 42 to the west. He writes it down on his piece of paper, or maybe he writes it on notepad or, you know, favorite, favorite device. There is nothing north of the swamp cave. Still looking for Garenham. He's going to immediately death warp back to the castle so he can start counting that out. It shouldn't be too long before he also gets the armor. And he also picked up a large shield from, from uh, Cantlin. That's another huge pickup for Apex. Definitely, once he gets this armor, we'll have a gear advantage. Mm-hmm. Ron just has now, to find the staff con converge staff conversion guy, and that's not it. Yeah, but uh, you know, I, I understand why they're not going back to Hogsness yet. They don't have a heal more, and whatever is on that spike tile, you're probably gonna need a heal more to take it on. Yeah, the only monster. Well, if you ran into an armor knight. Uh, an Axe Knight, even, even the Axe Knight with Dragonlord Breath, especially for Ron, who has the Erdrix Armor, and soon to be Apex, to, to be honest. That would totally be fine. Blue Dragons actually would be okay here. And uh, that's because um, they they have a higher stop spell resistance, but... Or, uh, excuse me, and more resistance. Hmm? Level 13 has the heal more... Well, there we go. We also had 9 and strength and 3 HP and 14 magic, so not too bad. 
Yeah. Now, uh, for the viewers, those numbers down there at the bottom of the screen, uh, some of them are in green, one of them's over there in, in, uh, in orange. What does that mean? Well, uh, that's going to be for, are they ready to fight the Dragon Lord yet? There's a Dragon Lord stat indicators. Green means you're pretty good to go as is. Uh, orange means you're not quite there, but you're kind of borderline. If you're feeling okay, or you got really good other stats, you might be able to make it happen. Um, but you see that attack stat is still in white. They are nowhere close to being able to take on the Dragon Lord yet. No. Um... Ferran so does the, find yep. Garenham, gets into the back, will turn in this harp. Yeah, that'll be a good find. You can then uh, turn in a rainbow drop, and then he'll have a decision to make. Will he try to dive Sherlock to see if Erdrick Sword is hanging out there? Apex headed toward Hawksus now. Yeah, at this point, if I, I I would be going towards Hawksness. I mean, even with Ferran at, at with without heal more, and without the knowledge that he's about to get heal more, I would still go to Hawksness just to see what's on that trap tile and maybe pick up you know something on the way. Even if I can't grind that tile, if I could just either eliminate or or loot what is on that tile, that might be really useful because that would maybe save me a trip down to Sherlock because while Sherlock's got a lot more potential chests it's also a lot bigger meanwhile Apex heading back down to Tablet Cave will pick up his death necklace uh, nothing too special but you know Ron wisely running away from that blue dragon there uh, he only has now 18 magic left, so trying to nail two hurt wars. Uh, yeah. But here we go now, Hawk's Nest for Apex, and we start off the festivities with a warlock, does not fight it. Some, He's wanted some... to save his resources for the spike tile, I don't blame him. Yeah, some runners will go for it. Here's the blue dragon, he's gonna give it a try. And there's the hurt more. You gotta throw hurt mores down. You gotta throw a stop spell down. Okay. Locked on the first shot. There you go. That that pulled its claws neatly. Um, it still hits hard though. Ooh. That is an excellent move for one yeah hundred and a night say with the sword. That was a huge pickup right there. Oh, this rogue scorpion may be sending him back home, though. He's still asleep. He's still asleep. He wakes up. Uh, sleeped again. Remember, this rogue scorpion is packing a DL2 breath somewhere in his attack chain. So, uh, Apex continuing his, uh, amazing streak of <laughs> excellent moves here. And, wow. Oh, why not? Let's go for another one. Or you just I mean, at 180 no. experience points a pop, you are in grinding go mode. Now that you've got Airdrick's sword, you're doing enough damage to this blue dragon that stop spell is going to be sufficient to take them on here. Yeah, and I mean, you've got heal more, so uh, heal more is definitely a thing. Yeah, and every time he tries to cast hurt more, it's just a free round for you. Yeah, we could we could see Apex settling into a grind here. This is it's kind of out of the way, but at the very least, you know, you've got the grind offered to you. It's about the best grind you can hope for right now. The other trap tiles a golem. I mean, I mean, you find it, to, you know, grind it till you find it, right? Mm-hmm. All right, looks like Ferran is going to pick up that large shield, so 
Now all he has to do is find Hawks Nest, and if he does, well, no, no, he has to refine Hawks. He's already found Hawks, but if, if he does, try to set Blue Dragon. Uh, we'll, uh, he'll probably be a little bit of a lead for Apex here. Yep, and rolling around to the 90 minute mark, uh, we're, you know, we're both pretty much in grind and go mode here, but we have a long grind ahead of us. Supposedly. Unless the stats are like 50, 50, 20, and 30. I mean, you never know with these games. Ah, uh, that is true. Kaishin no Ishigeki! For somebody, I think it was Apex. Hmm. But uh, as we do round that hour and a half mark at 90 minute mark, we pause for station identification. Uh, this is Sneaky the Lost. In the booth with me here is Game Boy F9, who, by the way, is also doing the restreams at the same time, the mad lad. And, of course, running our tracker, that's not a bot. That's not automatic. That's somebody behind the curtain flipping switches, and that is High Spirits. Thank you very much for your assistance on, on doing this one. Uh, of course, we've got Ferran Burgundy versus Apex Corvid. Definitely give them a like and a follow if you like this kind of content. And we're going to go ahead and also drop the link to our Discord in our chat channel. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, you want to maybe try it out yourself, come on over for a really open, welcoming friendly community we're happy to answer any questions you might have and who knows we might see your name in the next tournament yeah i mean this has been uh this is one of this is probably the second longest randomizer tournament in uh the history of randomizers it, it, i believe it is the second longest this is our fifth year running this standard tournament well, the only one that's going longer is zelda one randomizer um then they i think they they might have their six coming up real soon i i mean i don't know but uh i mean we'll see but uh but yeah it's so i mean th this has been around for a very long time we had 53 runners this tournament um it's definitely one of the most successful tournaments in uh in the uh, history of randomizers so to speak so but uh Ferran did knock out the Blue Dragon and pick up Erdrick's sword, and since Ferran knows very well, I am obligated to scream out one hundred and eight. Yeah, Ferran is like, yeah, that's a good grind, but I only have eleven MP. Hang on, BRB. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll uh, head on off to Remolder, I imagine, too. Yeah, Regan. but he actually has his drop now. He's gone to Jerk Cave and has turned in his Rainbow Drop, so he is in full grind and go mode. I believe Apex has not yet gone to the to Jerk, but I believe he's heading there right now. He's he's making a beeline for it, so he's probably going to pick that up pretty soon. They are both in grind and go mode uh, right now. What uh, fifteen nine hundred experience? Versus what for for Ron? Uh, uh, Forty six. So yeah. you're looking at about a fourteen hundred XP lead for Apex, but that's just a number. Uh, Charlock is the great equalizer, especially some of these mob layouts that we've seen for some of these guys in in Charlock. This could be uh, this could be a very brutal brutal Charlock anybody's game still one failed run is all you need and all of that experience gain is just gone yeah yeah we shall see now we have some uh, interesting strategy coming out here where are the prime monsters to fight now Vran is hanging out in this desert to the left of Remolder there are axe knights sitting there so He's uh, hoping for the very quick kills of those Axe Knights instead of, um, excuse me, instead of Hawksness where 
you have all these blue dragons. Now, Apex goes ahead and deposits the rainbow drop, so uh, he's just uh, got that section all taken care of. Gonna refill the magic. Let's see which grind winds up supreme here. Well, uh, Apex gonna check out the spike tile grind. He's gonna find a golem and he's probably gonna nope right out of there. Maybe not. He's got heal water. Remember that. So it, it, it might mean something. Front, uh, not sure here. He's not running into a lot of axe knights right now. Well, he does have heal more and he does have the flute. And so he can make a grind of this on that spike tile, especially seeing as how it's in the basement of Tantagel Castle. Respawns are almost as fast as Meat Boy. Yeah, well, we'll see how attracted he is to it. He has twice noped out of practice golems. Now here's the real thing. What will he do now? He will go for it here. I mean, he's he's doing some decent damage to these golems. Of course, they're returning the favor. Good lord. But has defeated the golem. That's 255 experience points per pop. That's but, nothing to sneeze at. If you want to start using maybe the flute on turn one, just to hope you get a multi-turn sleep, that could potentially be a grind. Meanwhile, Ferran temporarily reached the uh, Daft Punk score of 55-55 experience. <laughs> oh, okay. I like this. Using the fairy flute against the golem. I mean, yes, it takes nine seconds, but more often than not, it, it works out for you. I'm thinking Apex might have the better grind right now. I mean, you know, nine seconds to save yourself, what, eight hit, eight mana with, by not needing a heal more. Um. And then he runs into an armored knight, which is an easy 172. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, heal spells still cost four mana, right? Uh, three. Three, okay. So two heals is less mana than one heal more, technically. Yeah, three, he three heals are a little bit more than one heal more. As a matter of fact, it heals less than a heal more, so... Uh... So, yes, Apex is losing a little bit of time doing this. I believe heal heals for, what, 16 to 23? Does that sound right? Hurt more. Down goes another Rex Knight. So the experience difference is about 900 right now. Ron is still interested in uh, trying to grind out Axe Knights. Now we noted in chat that High Spirits, our tracker, did spy on the Blue Dragon and found out that the stop spell resistance of that Blue Dragon is 0 out of 16. I'm kind of wondering if Blue Dragon might be the winner here, especially on Ferran's side. I don't, I don't know. We could go either way. Either well, way. the problem the problem with that is it's out in Hawksness, which isn't really near a town to heal up at. So your iteration time slows down and you probably lose any theoretical gains by having to come all the way back to it. 
7 power, 11 agility, 4 HP, 5 MP. Uh, outside was learned. So we will have a level 16 return. Which is perfectly fine because we're not Dragon Lord eligible right now. We need another 15 strength minimum. Either 15 strength or 15 hit points, one or the other. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it on 15 HP. And yet another Kaishin no Ijigaki. Yeah, Apex is now just straight off fighting the golems. Ferran's still fighting the Axe Knights in the desert, and it is his experience deficit is now thirteen hundred. Yeah, that experience is slow. That experience gap is slowly widening. Now Apex is probably going to take an intentional death warp off of this golem. And then he's just going to come right back. Yep. So we've had 33 trips to the penalty box this seat. Uh, I would consider a relatively average amount, but the uh, clock is continuing to mount. We are probably looking at a two hour seed this, this time around. Depending on what level has ghost stats. Yeah, we've had uh, quite a number of two-hour seeds in this tournament. Uh, I think the longest was like 2.30, something like that. Yeah, but we've also had one-hour Zoom seeds, too. And hey, welcome, Randomania people. Thanks for the raid. Um... We're just settling into our grind here. <laughs> uh, we've got most of the important stuff. We've got the sword and the armor anyway. There haven't been any silver shields available. Uh, unfortunately, the only two options here are a 75% hurt more blue dragon in Hawksness, which is way out there, uh, far away from any other towns. Or this golem here in Swamp Cave, which is in the back of Tantigel Castle. So that's what Apex is doing. Meanwhile, Ferran has found a place with a high chance of getting Axe Knights and has been one-shotting them. But you have to be careful. Those Axe Knights have DL2 breath. Yeah, but he seems to be uh, going through there uh, pretty well. He doesn't seem to be uh, having much of a problem here. Yep, there goes another Axe Knight. Well, one more of those and it's uh, level 15 for Ferran. Well, will level 16 be the level? We are uh, about they are 779 points away from finding out. Well, while we are uh, watching the grind, I'm going to take a quick moment to uh, talk about the uh, remaining schedule here uh tomorrow uh actually uh 10 30 tonight eastern jay coper and seawolf elimination match over on uh rpg limit break we'll be hearing commentary from monsieur slime and z-man 050778 and uh that again 10 30 p.m over on rpg limit break Five o'clock tomorrow on Speed Gaming. Uh, I believe it's Speed Gaming uh, Prime. Uh, Archfield Monk, one fine day. 5 p.m. Eastern on Speed Gaming. Uh, 
some speed gaming somewhere. It's up to NG and JJ Smith, 9 o'clock. I believe that is a winner's bracket race. Is that winner's bracket or is that... Uh, no. Or is that elimination match? Um, I uh, believe it's just elimination matches this week. Oh, is it? No, we have another bracket. I, uh, I don't know what type of race it is, but uh, it's a it's a race. <laughs> it's a race between up to NG and JJ Spit. 9 p.m. on Speed Gaming. Also 9 p.m. somewhere on Speed Gaming. It's Bobski and Ursine Azure, and that definitely is an elimination match. Uh, that's actually I apologize. That's uh, Friday at 9 p.m. on the Speed Gaming Network. And what did we get for level 16? Four strength, three agility, three HP, nine magic. Last level yeah. of the turn. I think we got another level. At least one more. Prob if it keeps stalling like this, or we get a couple of MTI levels, settle in. Buckle up. <laughs> this could be a grind. Uh, well, um... Well, I, I did check the JJ Schmidt versus up to NG. That is, um, that is a competition round, not a bonus round. So it's not an elimination, and the victor of that will actually square off against the victor of High Rofellos versus Guelph Thirty Five. Well, there you have it. Well, oh, Apex Corvette just sent uh, that. Uh floor of bricks to sleep also took a few walls to sleep as well well um, I guess I will um, talk about more we'll talk more about the schedule 11 o'clock on Friday 11 Eastern Fred Coughlin, J Man, 1865, elimination match. Uh, we do not know where that's going to be held yet, but we we do know that race is going to be happening. Saturday, four o'clock, on Randomania on one of the Randomania channels. Spark over Blue Lobster, elimination match, four o'clock Eastern, 2 p.m. Mountain, uh, on uh, Randomania, the Randomania Networks. Probably that'll be on Randomania Prime. Uh, let's see. Saturday at 9 o'clock on the Speed Gaming Network, Smashy DK9146. Uh, that one is a, a winner's bracket. Winner's, uh, yeah, winner's bracket. Winner there will face NES Cardinality in the next round. <laughs> so, uh, it's gonna be quite the, uh, race happening there that'll be on speed gaming somewhere one of those channels saturday at nine o'clock sunday at 2 p.m eastern nyc guy in edge stream on the speed gaming network and that is a uh what is that that is an elimination match this is an elimination match on the speed gaming two o'clock eastern on the speed gaming networks and the last one we have, oh, that's going to be quite a, quite a uh, match, I'll tell you. I believe that is Sunday, yeah, Sunday night, 8 o'clock Eastern on the Speed Gaming Network. High Spirits and Tristel MTG, winner's bracket race. Laws Cards fan already signed up for commentary for that. That's on the Speed Gaming Network, 8 p.m. Eastern on Sunday. When Sunday, you're for Sunday, Sunday. Yeah, you got it, Fran. Would love that quote. <laughs> when, when we, you, we've got a lot of races coming up, sneaky. What, are, what are you looking forward to? Uh, all of them. <laughs> I'll tell you what. That's this tournament has been a, a blast. I mean, we've seen, we've seen a lot of these people that are new to the Dragon Warrior Randomizer race that have just been coming out gangbusters. I mean, this is, I think, the largest Dragon Warrior randomizer tournament that I've ever seen. We had, what, almost 40 people join? Uh, we had 53 for this tournament. We did have 64 last year. So uh, Okay. 
Okay, yeah. not the biggest, but but definitely pretty big. We've seen a lot of new names. Uh, now that some of them did come in from other randomizers, but we have seen some of these people that are that are at least new to the Dragon Warrior randomizer just come out gangbusters. Uh, it's just mad props to everyone who has been bringing their A game and has been showing us a lot of really good stuff here. So uh, as far as you know, matches coming up. I mean, they're all pretty decent here. Meanwhile, Apex going down with my favorite numbers in the whole wide world, zero and zero. That is exactly how you do a grind. Absolutely. You drain the tank down to empty before you go back for a refill. Yeah, and uh, Apex now has a very, very solid lead of 2,600 experience points. Uh, now the question is, will we get enough stats for level 17? Or will we have to uh, talk, or will we have to uh, do some side talking for another five minutes or so? <laughs> Let's find out. Well, we're one goal Next away. Next on... Will it grind? <laughs> okay, that's probably a little old for for even the older people in our community here. <laughs> Maggie Dearest, who uh, commented the race where uh, Random Mania rated, <laughs> just said it's time for movie cat trivia. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't even know. I, I, I'm afraid I don't know what that is, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, cute to the highest degree. Level 17 for Apex. We have 13 power, 4 speed, 5 HP, 6 magic. I think it's time to go. Yeah, I mean, you're you're you've only got 10 heal mores in the tank, which is a little concerning. One more MP would have been absolutely perfect. But, uh, 132 attack power, 88 defense, uh, 122 hit points. You've got chances for doubles coming up here. Not going to be a death necklace run. Not unless you want to get super risky. But, uh, yeah, these are ghost stats. <laughs> Meanwhile, Apex is still throwing out excellent move after excellent move. But uh, he is grinding, so uh, I will say that Apex is one Sherlock dive ahead, depending on when he goes down, uh, compared to Fran Burgundy. Fran just hits level 16. It's not going to be enough, so he'll have to grind that zone just a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> My horse for one MP. Well. <laughs> Ruler is saying Apex has gotten quite a few excellent moves this ra race. Like, no kidding, really? <laughs> yeah. For want of one MP, a heal more was lost. For want of a heal more, the grind was lost. For want of a grind, the match was lost. All for want of a single MP. Yeah. So yeah, we are swinging 8 to 16, 12 average on 10 heal mores with a significant double chance or two. Uh... Yeah, I, I can understand Apex wanting to grind one more level here, but I can also understand, especially on 97 agility, why you'd want to go. There's, uh, there's some speculation in the chat that is he going to grind most of the way on this golem, and then when he runs out of MP, just finish the grind on his way down. Um, I an... don't think he can. He doesn't have the MP to do that, because I mean, with with the with the abilities that these monsters have, about half of them have have some kind of a hurt more or a DL two breath. Uh, you can't. I mean, you, you can't be spending any magic whatsoever on the way down.
Now, here's what you can damage break in Charlotte Castle. You can damage break green dragons. You can damage break werewolves, star wyverns, um, and um, wizards. I think I got them all. So, uh, I mean, with that knowledge in hand, if you run into those monsters, you can definitely grind on the way down, but it looks like he's just going to go all the way to that 14,250 mark. Yeah, but the problem is Star Wyverns have sleep. That's true. And so yeah, they're kill. damage broken. They won't kill you, probably, but that's still a lot of time you're burning. Jizel has a very good point in chat. There is the Fighter's Ring in Sherlock Castle somewhere. That would grant an extra two attack power. That would increase the uh, attack power to 134, and then you'd be shooting 8 to 17, just that little bit more. That, that would increase the odds of being that Dragon Lord so significantly. And, wow, he's going to go back to the Golem here. Intriguing. I still think he's a Sherlock dive ahead. Now, it'll get even more interesting if the stats are real crap for level 18. And his back attack from this armored knight, but he's going to go ahead and take it. Unfortunately, this hurt more doesn't land, so he's trying it again. Absolutely. And that'll land. Absolutely going to take this. This will uh, give him level 18 here. Down it goes. What do we have here? It's going to be five power, one speed, 16. You've got to go now. Got to go. You're, you're done. You've got death necklace. You've got really high attack power. Refill your yeah, magic. Yeah, you got, you got 130. Two. Yeah, yeah. You got 137 attack power. You've got 11 heal wars in the tank now. No reserves, but you've got 11 heal wars in the tank. You've got potential death necklace threats for another 10 attack power on top of that. This is absolutely go mode, and that's exactly what Apex Corvid is doing. Yes, I, I kind of think that um, you might actually be able to burn one or two heal wars here. Mm. I, I definitely would pursue it if you're getting bad luck or you're just getting red dragon after red dragon. We run into axe knights or blue dragons. First hurt more. Not gonna hurt too much. It's uh, it'll be sub thirty, but double run. Man, fail that's a lot of blocking. Double run file on ninety eight agility. Fairy water would not help here. <laughs> and of course, mentioning in chat, agility is just a number because it doesn't matter. You still have a chance to fail to run. I was actually casting a game earlier and the guy was diving Charlock with ghost stats and failed to run away from a slime on just outside the castle. So, yeah. Uh, but at the same time, with the fairy water that Apex just used, a lot of things are going to start being repelled with that 89 defense. I have to say this is a slight error by Apex because every single monster in the first zone of Sherlock is unrepellable. Now, Ferran is only three monsters away from level 17, and I bet you he's going to dive when he hits level 17. Ferran looking for a silver shield, I think. 
I think I saw it in the Rimuldar. He may actually go for it. Ooh. He's at 11,000 gold already. He just needs another couple thousand. <laughs> if he does, he'll just fly by Sherlock, but will he run out of time? Will Apex's dive be successful? Well, now we're in the second zone, and I think he's getting a much... Uh, a much lower encounter rate. So, now I think that fairy water is starting to pay off here. But this is the last. Okay. Vran is now one axe knight away after this attack to level 17. He is now over 12,000 money, but here is the final floor for Apex. And there As is an armored knight. As he rounds the corner, with his tank still full, back attack by the armored knight. Excellent move! One shot, the boy! Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna, you gotta jump me from behind? Okay, let's do this. I throw my hands up in the air. I, 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 I'm totally at a loss of words right now. But Ferran is staying in the desert, and I think, uh, I think he's looking at that shield and looking at those stats and going, yeah, doing about the same thing we were doing about five minutes ago with Apex. Yeah. Going, yeah. Oh yeah. no, he just cast return. No matter. He's gonna be out of time. You know, is he gonna? Is he gonna? Dang! I didn't this? even see what that encounter was. He took it out so fast. The uh, the final trap tile. Apex yeah, 138 HP, 90 MP. This is about as free as it can possibly get. Bearing in mind RNG. There's the death necklace. There's the hurt more. Yeah, wants to have absolute maximum resources for this battle coming up. Down goes and the And he is DL. going to do it. There's the stop spell. Took takes out phase one. So walks into phase two on 104 maximum hit points and starts off with a 19 attack. Ouch. Yeah, followed by a 17. He's at 36, and I've been noticing Fran Burgundy went into the grave to pick up some extra money. Uh, gonna knock out a blue dragon, but he's gonna be out of time. 54 power, or 54 damage. The only way Ferran stays alive is a miss menu over on Apex's side. Uh, Apex is being very, very careful as he, uh, yep, being very, very careful. He doesn't know it, but he's got plenty of time. Our runners brace this blind. 100 damage, just 65 points until knocking out Ferran Burgundy from the tournament. 120 now. Plenty of resources. This is a, yeah, it's guaranteed now. 139. This might be it. It is not. We'll need to do one more heal, one more heal more. This is probably the last attack. Yes, it is. 167 damage. And that... Break out your GG's! Apex Corvid has pulled in the lead and will be continuing on in the tournament. Ferran Burgundy, unfortunately, um, will not be continuing in the tournament further. Yeah, Apex wraps up the seed for the final time of 2.04.07. So a pretty lengthy seed tonight. And unfortunately it's uh, 
a valiant effort by Ferran, but uh, pretty much the big difference, right, it was the choice of grind. But Ferran's going to yeah, get Silver Shield. Yeah, there's golems because they were so close to Tantagil Castle and he had the flute. It was just a more efficient grind. Yep. He does go ahead and pick up that Silver Shield. I, I, He should know at this point that, you know, his opponent is done. But he may be wanting to try. Yeah, he's going to just try and dive it at 17. See what he can do. And this is this is just a YOLO dive to just see if he can do it or not. Yeah. All right. Uh we're going to see if uh, Apex is going to come in for an interview. Uh, hopefully we will hear from him shortly. Yep, uh, we will be hearing from Apex shortly. Meanwhile, Ferran begins his grind. Now, remember, Ferran is not going to be able to use that necklace. He doesn't have enough HP to be able to do that and still be able to guarantee take at least two hits. And joining us in the commentator's booth is Apex Cor Corvid GG. Well, thank you. That so, was a fun one. Yeah, yeah. So, first question: What the heck was going on with all those, all those excellent moves? Sometimes you just got it. Yeah, I, I, clearly. I mean, I mean, Fran got I mean, a lot of excellent moves too. But uh, yeah, you were just firing off excellent move after excellent move after excellent move. I've never seen anything like it, to be honest. I guess I've just been saving them all up for this run. Well, you, you sure you didn't roll Elena in there somewhere? Could be. <laughs> yeah, I think you're obligated to, to race Dragon Warrior 4 tomorrow against Ferran Burgundy. That's what I think. <laughs> All right, I'll work on learning that tonight. All right. <laughs> that sounds like a deal. So so the uh, pretty much the difference to this seed was the grind. You went for golems, and Ferran was repelling, hoping for a lot of axe knights in the desert, uh, west of Remolder, and uh, your grind turned out best. Yeah, anytime you have a tile versus uh, trying to do something on the world map, or even in a more high encounter place like Sharlock, it's a tough decision. Uh, I was actually wishing I would have stuck around on those blue dragons and Hawksness until they sent me home. Uh, I had some resources left I didn't use, but. Um, with my death warps being available, I could reset on those golems, and uh, yeah, it was ideal. I mean, I would have liked to have seen a different enemy there, but we made it work. Mm -hmm. uh. Yeah, unfortunately, Hawksness was just so far out of the way. It may have been a technically a more efficient grind because it would have been a lot easier, especially, you know, one stop spell and, and it's pretty much a free fight. But uh, it's so far out of the way, you lose everything trying to get back to somewhere to heal and get back into the grind. Well, that's just it. Uh, so I settled on the uh, Swamp Cave, and luckily, after that first level, I got better attack, uh, and I got heal more. That first level was a little dicey with those flute strats, but after that, it got a lot more comfortable. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. You didn't run into a red dragon in the bottom floor of Sherlock, did you? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Yeah. Um, Ferran just did. Oh, well, he's got all the luck. Yeah, well, we're gonna we're gonna play the pyramid game, so uh, 
Place your bets. Where's the fighter's ring? I'm going to say Yeah, he's $50. actually diving at 17 instead of 18, but he actually has his silver shield. Well, that silver shield sure helps. Uh, I didn't have that, and I didn't like where my MP was at. So I figured if I play it uh, a little more cautious, because that's, that uh, last level happened in about three or four minutes, uh, that was worth it rather than a coin flip on whether I survived the dive or not. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you it, it was for want of one HP, I feel. If you had had 88 instead of 87 MP, it would have been a go level, but... Ah. So uh, it looks like you are going to be squaring off against Diabetes the second next round. How do you feel about that? Hello? Hello? Oh. Sorry, I had tabbed out. Uh, no, that's great. Uh, I actually uh, popped by while he was setting up and uh, wished him good luck. Uh, both Diabetes and Zarnax, we've been in a lot of these nightly races, so, you know, I'll just look at it like a fun run. Uh, Diabetes is playing amazing, lights out right now, so uh, definitely they're going to be a favorite, but uh, I'll show up, I'll put on a show. And I will definitely look forward to seeing it. I mean, this this tournament has brought us so many really awesome matches. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the uh, rewatch of Diabetes and Zarnax. I'm sure it was a uh, barn burner for, for certain. So Ferran is now under 500 experience to the next level. Ooh. Yeah, and he had to use he a heal more after triple or quadruple running away, fa run failing from a blue dragon, which is yeah. about a one in 300 yeah. or so. Yeah, I, I don't, I, yeah, he's only at 75 MP. There's there's no way at this point. He's He's just, I don't know. Well, he'll get there. He may he may accept the Dragon Lord's offer. Well, well, hang on. I mean, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see a couple hurt Moors land. Well, with the way crits have been going off this seed, I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility. And we just found out that wizards cast sleep and hurt. So if sleep and hurt more is diet wombo, would that be wombo zero? Wombo free. <laughs> I didn't even see any wizards on the bottom floor. Uh, does he have Repel on? I think he used Fairy Water. And there's that Axe Knight. That Axe Knight made me real nervous when I saw him. A couple DL2 breaths and chances go way down. Yeah, that that definitely is true. And you couldn't afford to do a hurt more on him because you didn't have the the MP. There's his level 18 off of that last tax night. Uh, he's at 73 MP. He's preemptively putting on the death necklace. So let's do this. <laughs> Fool us. <laughs> You thought he was going to take the offer. And never a dull moment with Ferran. We've got a winner. Uh-oh. Not the big dragon lord. Oh, and he gets picked off. Oh, boy. Got to lose a heal more here. Oof. Big oof.
But yeah, after we are done here, we're probably going to kick it over to the RPG Limit Break channel where we have Jay Cooper versus the Sea Wolf uh, going at it as we speak, actually. They started it uh, about, what, 15 minutes ago? Yeah, that sounds about right. So once we're once we're we're done getting uh, Ferran's commentary, which is always always a hoot. Ferran is just an amazing amazing guy. Uh, he's actually our our lead for for the commentators. He's he's the man. Yeah, he's got a lot of uh, really fun uh, things going on uh, on the Burgundy broadcast program. Down to one heel more. But he's been throwing down 22s and 23s. and Final heal more in the tank. Doesn't even have enough left for a swag more. Is he going to do it? Survey says, Thou hast done well in defeating the Dragon Lord. Pulls it off at the last minute. Break out your GGs. You know, if you're going to do survey sets, you have to follow it up with DING! <laughs> Ferran has finished this scene in the final time of 2 hours, 16 minutes, 17 seconds. The final difference, 11 minutes and 50 seconds. Good game, Ferran Burgundy. And... We'll see if he'll join us for an interview. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, yeah. wrong game. Yeah, wrong game. Totally wrong game. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so yeah, coming up in a few minutes, we'll uh, head it on over to RPG Limit Break and we will check out J. Cover and the Sea Wolf won. And uh, looks like we're going to be getting Ferran here pretty soon. Yeah, soon being now. How are you doing, Ferran? Good game? Uh, you're still on mute. Check for push to talk. Oh, there we go. That Hello. would help. Hey, GG, man. GG. It was, um, this was a slog of a seed. I didn't feel good about it from, let me scroll back in my time thing here, from about five minutes in. Uh, I thought that I had a decent grind spot with the Axe Knights there right outside of Rimmeldar, but apparently from what I'm being told in chat that uh, there was a better spot. Well, that was pretty much the difference. Y'all were effectively neck and neck until, it, until grind and go mode. And uh, Apex decided to go for the Golem in the basement of Tantagel in Swamp Cave. And that was the telling difference. It was just a more consistent grind. It, it was more consistent even though the strength was low. That was my thing. I knew that the strength was low. I figured, all right, I have Hurt Moors. Let me use them on these Axe Knights. They're one-shottable even though I'm walking a little bit more. Because the strength was abysmal for a good portion of the seed I figured that that might be a better grind than hacking seven eight times at a golem and I guess wrong it was actually more like four or five really uh, he had enough he was doing about 20 30 damage pop to the to the golems it wasn't that bad um, which kind of surprised me a little bit. I thought I was going to be doing a lot less damage than he was. He started off having to do some flute strats because he didn't have heal more when he started. But once he got heal more, it was just it was just a, a stable, reliable grind. Uh, the blue dragons might have been a better grind, except Hawkness was so far out of the way. It, it was. Now I'm looking back at the, the and calculating the numbers on it. Uh, I mean, when we got that big uh, strength boost not too far after, well, once I'd found the sword, 
All right, 18 to 36, 19 to 39, 21 to 42. So if he was getting a lot of 30s, then yeah, by that point, he definitely was getting above average rolls and kind of near the end. I mean, I, I, I got 18 on the way down and as I'm going down thinking, I probably shouldn't have gotten 18 on the way down. I mean, it, I was again, I played too conservatively. Yeah, well, he actually grinded to 18 before making his dive. But he never got the Silver Shield. Okay, so the Silver Shield may have been part of the... I mean, there, there were, I made a lot of stupid mistakes. I, mean, I, I tell people that I'm not very good at this game, and tonight is a reason why. Uh, but then again... I mean, this tournament is a little interesting in that a lot of really good people have kind of said, nah, I'm good on it, including your co-commentator here, for a litany of different reasons. I mean, Not to call him better. out, I don't want to, yeah, he's, he's, he's probably going to cut stream now that I've said that, but. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh no, Burgundy's going heal again, quick, cut stream, abort, <laughs> abort mission. <laughs> I mean, go Richard mode, oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, well, you're still a better runner than I am, so I wouldn't have even gotten this far in the tournament. You've been doing a darn good job. I, you know what? I I won a couple of them here and it's frankly two more than I thought I was going to win. So, uh, you know, at this point I was playing with house money. I think it was between Zarnax and Diabetes the second, the loser of those two, as that started about a half hour before we did. So it was kind of all right. Which which brick wall am I going to run into here? And in this case, uh, I ran into the apex wall. Well, I mean, this one, uh, okay, this one I will grant was a decision of grind, and that was really the primary deciding factor. I mean, you got the armor first, but he ended up with an early experience point lead, which was kind of a wash. It wasn't until the two of you got into full grind-and-go mode that, that his more stable grind really started pulling him ahead. Up until then, you were pretty neck-and-neck, and, neck. and even then, it would have been one dive fail would have cleared everything. Would have swapped it out. Yeah, and and, and that that makes sense. I'm totally. Yeah, you know, I mean, there there were a couple of moments where I, I just I definitely had lost my focus. There was a uh, there was a beverage spill around the 27 minute mark that I wasn't paying attention, and a droll DL2 breathed me, and that sent me back. Uh, there was another point in which I had to. Uh, Continue to play while also taking a bio break at the same time. That, thank goodness, wasn't on camera because that would have been a heck of a uh, of a sight. But uh, <laughs> there, there were, yeah. So there were there were a few instances. By no means are they excuses. Apex definitely, you know. I mean, it was it, Apex took one direction, I took another, and that's how a lot of these races can sometimes go. It's just that one decision in a crucial moment that tends to turn the tide. Yeah, and man, I tell you what, some of those early mid enemies were just vicious. You had the Magi Wyverns with the Wombo Combo. You had the 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 Magi Drakeys with the Hurt Moors. You had the Drolls with the with the full Wombo Combo. Yeah, I, I mean the Drolls were terrible. Once I had gotten up to Breconary and was able to get a Copper Sword, I knew at that point, okay. We're just going to go on to skeletons and warlocks until it, until I get a decent spell or until it doesn't make sense to go. And that might have been another point where Apex had taken the lead and possibly doing some exploration because my exploration led to death left, right, and sideways. Well, actually, I think it was more a case of while you were trying to explore and getting horribly murdered, like your two failed dives in the grave... He was just doing a solid, consistent grind on some mid-tier enemies, uh, like like skeletons and wolves and stuff, and so had started pulling ahead in experience points. So okay, so and and that was something that I was I was kicking back and forth on. I was like, it, 
it was almost like the angel and the devil on the proverbial shoulder. One saying, hey, stay here. Fine. This is a good idea. And the other saying, no, go out and explore. <laughs> and lo and behold, the, 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 the devil won and the, the devil made me do it. And that, uh, that led me to the L here. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, that was only a couple hundred experience points. That's really nothing towards the end of the game, but... Yeah, although I don't think it was that blatant. It was more like uh, Flowey the Flower from uh, Undertale. <laughs> kind of, the, yeah. Yeah. I've been on an Undertale kick recently. I just played the, uh, uh, the, the, the true pacifist run. I finished that up this past Thursday, and some of the tears just finished drying earlier today. Uh... All well, the feels. I would highly recommend it. Mm, well, this is definitely has been uh, quite a quite a fun race. Uh, although my seed rolling wasn't all that great this time. Uh, normally, it's half decent, but not today. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, my average time isn't great, and the fact that I finished almost a half hour above average, I knew it wasn't going to be a. It, I knew I was going to have a bad time. To quote Sands from Undertale. mm Hmm. Well, um, well, we better go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, you you are out of the tournament, but uh, you're well. Well, as my, my I, as bullets I, will st will stick around for better or for worse. I, I, no, I was going to say you're out, but you're not out. I'm sure we'll be here. Yeah. Actually, we will be hearing from you once again. Uh, what's your next race? Uh, Tomorrow night, I'll be commentating. There you go with Lavkin. You're gonna you're gonna be. Uh, do, uh, I, I expect lots of uh, Kaishi no Jackie 180 and, and yes I did give who, you who allowed us two troublemakers to get put together uh, I don't know um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know we'll have to ask the admins about that no it's, yeah. uh, but uh, no that, that'll be a fun one JJ Schmidt and up to NG and uh, yes even, yeah, I'm, I, even though I'm no longer in as a competitor in this tournament I'm in the broadcast booth where a lot of people feel I belong Hey, no. myself included. <laughs> uh, Apex. There's a reason that Joe Buck doesn't step into the batter's box or uh, line up on the on the line of scrimmage. He stays up in the broadcast booth for a reason. <laughs> uh, Apex, you're still around. You are facing diabetes. The second, uh, yeah. Well, actually, we did already talk about that. So, uh, but. Um, uh, we will be looking I forward to that. derail this enough. Yeah, we're we're gonna go ahead and send it to somewhere I would imagine, and uh, yeah. and and call it a night here with all of the Dragon Warrior randomizer madness that has gone on. Yeah, we're gonna go to yeah. RPG limit break in a minute. Sneaky, you have any final thoughts? Uh, this was just an excellently run bout between both guys. It, it was kind of a slog, but it was still awesome. But yeah, we're going to be heading on over to RPG Limit Break. Jay Cooper versus the Sea Wolf already in progress. We'll see you there. Until then, this is Sneaky the Lost with me in the commentator's booth and doing the restreams. The Mad Lad is Game Boy F9. We do have... Um, on the uh, re on the on the track, Eric. Remember, that's uh, we got somebody back there flipping the switches behind the curtain. It's gonna be high spirits. Uh, we'll see you there. So long, everyone. <laughs>